Good morning, beautiful people. I'm so excited to be joining you in this space once again. I know that it has been a while between videos. Life has unfolded in incredible ways in our life lately, but it has also meant that we have been a little busy. Today's video is going to be a little different than most because today I've left my little family at home and I am currently for the first time since Atlas was born, having a couple of days of recharging with these beautiful souls. Recharging for us has meant deep soul hugging conversations, creating space for each other, morning riding sessions, swimming in the ocean, <laughs> and eating beautiful meals and breathing deeply. Oh, and celery juice as well, but I'll tell you more about that shortly. We've made our way down to Brunswick Heads, and today I'd like to give you a little bit of a life update and chat to you about motherhood and the creative power that is pulsing through me with a little space away from my beautiful family. Good morning, beautiful people. It feels like it has been so long since I recorded one of these videos. Something really interesting I think happened to me and I'm sure many of you can relate to this in different areas of your life. And that was, I like was really like excited about recording videos and I'm really excited now. Um, but I went through this period where I had this desire that I was like, okay, I want to record a video every single week. And I realized actually how hard that was for me in reality with a two year old, with running an online business, also with my partner, like at work full time at the moment. Um, and I then didn't do it for a little bit. And I think the really interesting thing for me with that was that when I took a step back and didn't do it, I kind of started falling into this phase of like, like what have I got to say? What am I worth? Like why should I even be doing this? And I think that we all experience this in different parts of our lives at different times. and. Sometimes it can feel so consuming, like it can feel really over consuming. And I think it's very similar to any fear, like anything that you have a fear related to. When you move away from the fear rather than leading into it, that fear becomes so big and it starts being in charge of your life. And it starts like jumping into the driver's seat of the car of your life and saying, we're going this way and we're going this way and we are avoiding the hell out of that thing. And I noticed that I really let this fear of being seen, which I don't even, I don't even really understand where it's come from, um, dictate my life. And so it feels really, really special to be here today and be like, fuck, I'm like leaning straight into that fear. Like, I'm so done with that. So I thought that I would give you um, a little life update on how things are going in our life at the moment. So the biggest thing, apart from this jumper, guys, I'm in Brunswick Heads at the moment and we went to this, um, it's like this little organic cotton shop and we were, i was wandering around there's like lots of i guess um florally sorts of patterns and the girls that i'm hanging out are like, hanging out with i sound like i'm like 10. <laughs> two of my really good friends that i'm down here with they really love like floral patterns so we kind of walked in there for them and i saw this jumper and i was like i need that jumper in my life and of course the beautiful way that I think kind of go in my life when I desire something they always seem to be showing me something and so I picked up this jumper and not only is it organic cotton it's like one third of the price because it's summer here and yes it's summer here and I'm wearing this still because I love it so much it is the comfiest thing I've ever put on my body um, but yes yeah, so linking to all of that this 
a few months ago, two of my really good friends, we kind of got in this chat and one of them, they're all mums, and one of them said like, I really need some time away from my kids. And I thought that that was such a beautiful thing to be able to communicate to other mums because I think sometimes that can create a lot of guilt. And, and what it led to was two other mums being like, I really need that too. And I was definitely one of them. I was like, I need that. I actually need time away from my whole family. And sometimes that can be hard to say and hard to acknowledge. Um, and when I sat with it, I was like, actually, this is really what I need. Um, and also time where, see, anyway, so the three of us decided that we would go away for the weekend. And what's kind of unfolded is that yesterday we caught up at nine at my house and we literally started talking from nine o'clock yesterday morning and at 11 o'clock last night, we were like, okay guys, like we should probably go to bed mid conversation. So we talked, like, what even is that? It's like four, is that 14 hours? Okay, that is, that feels crazy. And it was like uninterrupted conversation and just like one at a time sharing about everything that's been going on in our lives. Because before we had kids, we were able to have like these deep conversations that went for a couple of hours and you know really be able to be seen and I think that that is like often a challenge when we're raising these beautiful little souls is that they take up a lot of our brain space and when they're around <laughs> especially when there's like a group of mums together when they're around there's like big parts of our attention that is always and I don't know about you guys but like I'm even like when Atlas is asleep like I can be in a deep conversation with Patrick and like Atlas can make the tiniest sound in his room and I'm like there's just there's just part of me that's with him um and so yeah it's been this really beautiful time for us where we have been able to get really deep with each other and really really be seen um and it's been like yesterday was so nourishing and the other interesting thing i say this interesting thing a lot don't i um that i found was that one of the things that i thought that i was really craving was sleep and last night i reckon that i slept for a few hours like hardly anything i didn't sleep very well um and I woke up this morning after a few hours sleep and was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video. Like I feel so inspired and I wanna connect with people more. And it wasn't anything to do with the sleep. It was about the human connection. And it's a nice reminder that that's what really drives us. Um, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> no, no, I can hear myself saying it. Um, with the sleep, I found the last few days that I haven't been sleeping very well and not because of anything that anyone else is creating. It's not because of my environment at all. Um, and I've just started doing the medical medium protocol. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are into the medical medium, if it's something that you followed or done yourself or what your experience has been because it has, it, it felt like it found me at like such a synchronistic time. Things just lined up that kept pointing me to reading this book. And in fact, when I was like, okay, I'm gonna read this book, I went onto Audible and it was already, I'd already downloaded it. I must've downloaded it probably like a couple of years ago, really. Um, but it obviously wasn't the right time for me to read it then. And when I read it, I, <laughs> this is actually, yeah, yeah, this is part of the reason why I haven't been sleeping because I stayed up two nights in a row till one o'clock in the morning listening to his book because I was just like hooked um and I don't know about you guys but sometimes like I read books and they feel like they bypass my logical brain and they like go straight into my soul and when I hear things sometimes it feels like I've heard them before but I don't remember ever hearing them um and that's kind of what a lot of the medical medium has felt like to me 
And so anyway, so I started doing one of the big things that I started doing is the celery juicing first thing in the morning. Um, and I've started changing my diet up a little bit. And one of the, I feel like potentially one of the outcomes to all of that is that with my liver detoxing, there's more things in my body and it's affecting my sleep. I actually have no idea if that's a thing or not, but that's kind of what it feels like to me. So, um, but my energy, like even without, like I'm only a few days into this and even with the little sleep, I'm waking up in the morning and I'm like, okay, let's go. Like, let's do this. And it's so funny because Atlas wakes up in the morning, every morning by five o'clock. Five o'clock is the latest that he wakes up. And he wakes up and he smiles and he goes, I'm awake. And there has been such a big period where he, that hearing him say that, I'm like, no, 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 please don't let him be awake. Please don't be awake. And that's kind of the mood that I've been waking up to him with. Is that, no, please go back to sleep, please. And we're not doing this, no. And it's been such a beautiful shift that when he turns around and he's like, I'm awake, I'm like, yay, like, what should we do? Um, and we get up and we have brekkie and he helps me do the juicing. And yeah, it's been a really nice shift. So I'm probably going to be sharing a lot more about um, that process with you and give you guys a little bit more information. Um, another thing in our life, and I don't know that if I um, have shared this on our videos yet, is that we have made official plans to move overseas, which feels really, really exciting. And I think that I will leave that for, um, maybe I'll do a van update and I will let you know more about like our life plans as well as like traveling in the van like how it all fits in because I think that that's probably going to be like quite a long bit like that's going to be a separate video okay so I'll make that the next video um and I'll let you know more about what's going on there but yeah I I guess like one of the things that I like really wanted to talk on and I think that I have a little bit today is that you know as parents we take on a lot it is the most beautiful blessing that has ever come into my life, but it has also been something that has come with a lot of, um, well, I sure as hell have met a lot of resistance, which, you know, I've shared a lot about, um, but I also think that, you know, the amount that we give to our kids although like i wouldn't change that for anything i and it's so funny me saying i feel like when i'm talking on this i'm already trying to be like no but i love my kid like i love him and i feel like i'm there's this part of me that's like i don't want like i don't want you to see me as a bad mom i don't want you to see me as like i don't love my kid and i think like that part like that going in and being defensive like it doesn't serve us and in fact it's really just reinforcing to ourselves like but I'm good, like, you, like, you don't have to tell anyone that, you just have to feel it. Um, which is a lesson that I think that I am learning. And it doesn't feel like a lesson that I'm there yet about. Um, but the other thing around, and this is like any self-care, but also like around creating time where you're away from your child and you're not at work and you're just having time for you, is that in that time, like you get to recharge and you get to whatever it is that you need like for me it's like i need i feel like i need really like to channel into my creative energy and when me and atlas are separated for a little bit um i feel like i really get the chance to like sink into that and not just in like a 10 minute period of time but like in a okay like i've got the next two hours to really like sit with this and plan and you know problem solve and allow new things to come out and yeah i think that it's a really really special thing so i would love to know like if any of you who are watching this if there is regular like if you have regular times where you have time away from your child and what that feels like for you like whether it's something that feels like a really positive experience or whether it's something that it doesn't feel nice um and you know during those times like what sort of emotions come up for you like is it something that 
you know, do you feel a lot of guilt around it? Do you feel, like, what do you feel? I'm really curious because I think that, like, when we talk about this and when more moms talk about this and when we all say, like, girl, like, I feel exactly the same way. If that is how we feel, obviously. But it's really, I don't know, it's a really, it feels really powerful to me when I say something really vulnerable and then someone says to me, I feel exactly the same way. Because I think sometimes in motherhood we get into this place where we feel really isolated and we feel like no one, often because our like our family unit is like our partner and our kids and then none, none of them are living, <laughs> let's face it, none of them are living this, our world. Everyone is living their own world. Um, we don't really know like how our partners feel as much as they share with us, like we're still not living their world. Um, but yeah, I think that. Oh my god, all the beautiful birds. Um, yeah, I think that it's really, um, it feels really special when you feel like you're in this world all by yourself and no one is living this life like you because you've created this fear, which has created this guilt, which is telling you that no, you're a bad mom and you're different to everyone else. And when people turn around, they're like, no, we're, we're the same we feel the exact same it feels um it feels really sacred and i i know deeply that my journey and the thing that you know energizes me and the thing that excites me is getting deep and having these vulnerable chats because i think that it's life-changing when we see each other Wherever you are in the world, I hope that you have the most beautiful day to day. And just remember, no matter how different your needs are to what you think your needs should be or what society tells you that your needs should be, they are so important. And how you gain energy needs to be one of your top priorities. All right, beautiful people. I can't wait to record the next video and give you a bit of an update on our van and about our travel plans. Um, until then, drop any messages in the comments below and I will get back to you that way or I can get back to you over on Instagram. All right, big love, beautiful people. Talk soon.